Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Mashiach. Exodus chapter 14 Adonai said to Moshe, Tell the people of Israel to turn around and set up camp in front of Pi Hachirot, between Migdol and the sea, in front of Bar al Savon, camp opposite it, by the sea. Pharaoh pursues Israel. Then Pharaoh will say that the people of Israel are wandering aimlessly in the countryside, the desert has closed in on them. I will make Pharaoh so hard-hearted that he will pursue them. Thus I will win glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and all his army, and the Egyptians will realize at last that I am Adonai. The people did as ordered. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart toward the people. They said, What have we done, letting Israel stop being our slaves? So he prepared his chariots and took his people with him. He took six hundred first quality chariots, as well as all the other chariots in Egypt, along with their commanders. Adonai made Pharaoh hard-hearted, and he pursued the people of Israel, as they left boldly. E. The Egyptians went after them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, with his cavalry and army, and overtook them as they were encamped by the sea, by Pi Hachirot, in front of Bar al Savon. Israel rebels against God. As Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and saw the Egyptians right there, coming after them. In great fear the people of Israel cried out to Adonai, and said to Moshe, was it because there weren't enough graves in Egypt that you brought us out to die in the desert? Why have you done this to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we tell you in Egypt to let us alone? We'll just go on being slaves for the Egyptians. It would be better for us to be the Egyptians' slaves than to die in the desert. God divides the Red Sea. Moshe answered the people, Stop being so fearful. Remain steady, and you will see how Adonai is going to save you. He will do it today. Today you have seen the Egyptians, but you will never see them again. Adonai will do battle for you. Just calm yourselves down. Uh, e, Adonai asked Moshe, Why are you crying to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift your staff, reach out with your hand over the sea, and divide it in two. The people of Israel will advance into the sea on dry ground. As for me, I will make the Egyptians hard-hearted, and they will march in after them. Thus I will win glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and all his army, chariots and cavalry. Then the Egyptians will realize that I am Adonai, when I have won myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh, his chariots and his cavalry. Next, the angel of God, who was going ahead of the camp of Israel, moved away and went behind them, and the column of cloud moved away from in front of them and stood behind them. It stationed itself between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. There was cloud and darkness here, but light by night there so that the one did not come near the other all night long. Moshe reached his hand out over the sea, and Adonai caused the sea to go back before a strong east wind all night. He made the sea become dry land, and its water was divided in two. Then the people of Israel went into the sea on the dry ground, with the water walled up for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians continued their pursuit, going after them into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, chariots and cavalry. Just before dawn, Adonai looked out on the Egyptian army through the column of fire and cloud and threw them into a panic. He caused the wheels of their chariots to break off, so that they could move only with difficulty. The Egyptians said, 
Adonai is fighting for Israel against the Egyptians. Let's get away from them. A, I, V, S, E, Adonai said to Moshe, reach your hand out over the sea, and the water will return and cover the Egyptians with their chariots and cavalry. Moshe reached his hand out over the sea, and by dawn the sea had returned to its former depth. The Egyptians tried to flee, but Adonai swept them into the sea. The water came back and covered all the chariots and cavalry of Pharaoh's army who had followed them into the sea, not even one of them was left. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the sea, with the water walled up for them on their right and on their left. On that day, Adonai saved Israel from the Egyptians. Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the shore. When Israel saw the mighty deed that Adonai had performed against the Egyptians, the people feared Adonai, and they believed in Adonai and in his servant Moshe.